The First Book of Samuel, Chapter 1 Now there was a certain man of Ramathame Zophim, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zoph, an Ephrathite. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Peninnah. And Peninnah had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Peninnah his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. But the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou, and why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk, now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her heart, her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house in, to Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. <clears throat> Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, be, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide forever. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, <clears throat> Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> Only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode, and gave her son suck, until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bullocks, and one ephah of flour, and a bottle of wine, and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was young. And they slew a bullock, and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. I have, For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. This first chapter of First Samuel deals with Hannah, an incredible woman, and her baby son, the son she has, in answer to prayer, whose name is Samuel. Now, Hannah is the second wife of a man named Elkanah, and he lives someplace, we're not even sure, at least I, I'm not even sure from this chapter where he lives, but every year he does what most of the men of Israel are supposed to do, and that is show up at the tabernacle and offer burnt offerings there. One of the offerings that gets offered is a peace offering. In the peace offering, uh, part of it is burned, part of it goes to the priest, and part of it comes back to the family. And so the, the kidney and the fat 
and uh, some other portions are burned. The priest gets the brisket, which is the uh, breast meat. It's a, a nice cut, and it has a large amount of fat on it, which was a very highly prized, and the right shoulder. And the rest of it comes back to the family for them to eat as a meal. Special meal, special place, special time. And Hannah doesn't feel like eating this because she has an adversary in the other wife. The other wife has children. Hannah has none. In ancient Israel, that was a horrible judgment upon you. God had stopped you from having children. And the, this uh, Penaniah uh, basically made very ostentatious display of her children, showed them off, all the rest of it, deliberately to make Hannah feel bad, apparently. This is the impression that we get. And so that was her adversary. And that made her feel very low, very depressed, have a hard time. Uh, her husband saw some of that, and he gave her special portions of the meat to try to tell her he knew what was happening. There wasn't anything he could do about it, so far as he knew, but he gave her special portions. So, I mean, he gave her portions that had more fat on it, which would have been uh, highly prized, or other cuts that were considered better. So that she actually got something that was better than the other uh, wife and the other children did. She got a better portion. Now, um, we see that Eli is sitting by the post, and in the significance of that, he was in a judgment seat. He was the presiding priest called the high priest, but he didn't have the priesthood of a high priest. He had the office of the presiding priest. He was called the high priest. There is a considerable difference there. And he's and they used to sit on a backless chair and lean up against a post or something so they would have some support. And he sees Hannah praying. Now Hannah's praying in her heart, but she's moving her lips. He thinks that she has had strong wine and she's drunken. And he tells her, you know, don't don't do this. How long will you be drunken? And she lets him know that she isn't like that. She says she is not a daughter of Belial, which basically the term means I am not a worthy person or I'm not somebody, not, not a worthless person, and I'm not somebody who is affiliated with evil either. Those are two, the two connotations of Belial. The sons of Belial was the name given to the uh, men who were in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah who sought to have Lot come out so that they could abuse him. Not very good people. Anyway, uh, he, when he understands what the situation is, he says, God bless you. And then she takes that seriously. And she goes and she participates in the feast. So, And then, in course of time, she becomes pregnant. She gives birth to a young man, a boy. And she calls his name Samuel. The word Samuel, the name Samuel, in the Old Testament times, meant heard of God. And that was meant to be a, uh, every time his name was called, for him to remember that he was, that God heard Hannah's prayer. And that Samuel was an answer to Hannah's prayer. That's what that, that was that name signified to him. Now, in ancient times, the Hebrew women would nurse their, ch their children till they were about three and then they would wean them. So by the time the child was three, uh, three, three and a half, four years old, child would be weaned, and then that it would be the normal time when Hannah would have taken Samuel to Eli in the tabernacle to start his service there. Uh, that was highly unusual. The Levite priests would start their service at age 25 and go to age 50. Then that wouldn't start it before, most of them would have a chance to be married and other sorts of things, but that wasn't going to happen to Levi, to, to Samuel. She had made the vow. And so the vow was he would start as soon as he was weaned, and he would be there for his lifetime. An incredible woman and an absolutely amazing young man.